Happy spring to everybody. Behind me is Textilis gracilis. It was a bamboo that came over maybe around 1937 from a beautiful garden in southern China by an American who collected about 600 different varieties or species. And so this bamboo was brought over by a gentleman named Floyd Alonso McClure. Here's this picture playing a flute. And he was the ambassador of bamboo um, from uh, Asia to the United States. And he literally was responsible for being the Johnny Appleseed of Chinese and Japanese bamboos into um, Central, South America, and even part of the Caribbean. So uh, I actually discovered one of his uh, bamboo um, plantations um, uh, in Nicaragua in 2012. Here's a picture of that with uh, Floyd. So it, it's neat to not only make the flute, but find the story. And one of the cool stories about him is when uh, China was invaded by Japan and one day uh, the Japanese guard of Floyd Alonso McClure uh, said, I used to be a teacher. Uh, now I'm, I'm a Japanese guard, your, your guard. And uh, he said, I'd like to learn more about bamboo. So uh, Floyd Alonso turns to the Chinese cook and he says, uh, let's have him over for dinner tonight and teach him about bamboo. And I, I love the idea that behind the story of a bamboo can be a, a story of love your neighbor, uh, feed him and, and win him uh, over uh, to love. So anyway, um, cool bamboo. I've got a few different stands here, uh, maybe uh, over a dozen. And uh, it's nice to be able to bring uh, the poor man's Kung Fu flute and uh, the Egyptian flute, and we'll be making some uh, meditation flutes out of this, and we'll lower the price. So I discovered how to tune uh, a flute with a, a knot, and you never put the knot on this side close to the blowhole. You always have to put the knot. It creates, uh, the knot here will create um, turbulence and you'll get one octave, maybe a little bit more. But when it's down here and it's well uh, opened up, uh, it'll do better. So I have been able to reduce the price of my Egyptian flute uh, by using Textilis gracilis. And um, let me see if I can just spot the... I would... So here's the mouthpiece. And there's the knot right there, and I would cut it here. But anyway, um, here it is, the poor man's Egyptian flute. And with a little bit of effects, a long time for this bamboo to grow and now we'll bring it to the market. A pleasure. <laughs> Have a great day.